Hello, this is Dr. Jeremy. Now, understanding direct current and alternating current will help us to help maximize our patient results because it describes the movement of chi. Watch this quick video to understand how our machines move chi through wires and into the human body. Enjoy. So we're going to learn how to trigger the body to produce norepinephrine and caffeine is a norepinephrine reuptake inhibitor. And I like to piggyback it on a sugar molecule because all our cells use sugar. <laughs> and I like to add a little fat to make it some fat soluble thing happening. Okay, this is also another way of understanding electron flow. We don't know if it's the truth, but it's very helpful for us to think about in a practicing. So it's just a difference between direct current and, and alternating current. So focus on this side for now. This is our e-stim machine. Uh, actually, our e-stim machine is alternating current. So, but there are machines that do direct current. And this is the flow of electrons coming out of the black side into the patient, leaving the patient out the red side and going back into the machine. If this happens, if a group of electrons pulses out once, we call that, once in a second, we call that one hertz. So hertz is a measurement of how many times per second these pulses come. So if, if this pulses out two times per second, that's two hertz. If it pulses out four times per second, that's four hertz. And does this direct current make sense to you? It's all, always going from black through the body to red and back into the machine in a loop. Over here, alternating current. First, it goes out of the black into the person, into the red, back into the machine, and then out of the red into the black and into the machine. That's one hertz on an alternating current machine. And it, this is the current machines that we're using, alternating current. So this is why our machines are biphasic and it doesn't matter much where the black and the red are because first the electrons are pulsing out of the black into the body, into the red, into the machine, and then out of the red into the black and into the machine. And that's one cycle. Yes, did everybody hear her? She's asking, because we're using a biphasic alternating current machine, the black and the red don't really matter. And that's true and not true. Here's why. The ETOs have unbalanced circuitry, so the red I'm sorry, the black clip actually puts out a little more electrons than the red clip. This is why when you're using an ETO, the patients tend to feel the black clip more than the red clip. But that's just because the machine circuitry is imbalanced. If you have a Pantheon, you can't tell the difference between red and black. So on the ETO, does it still not matter? Not really. Okay. Doesn't really matter. Yes. The ESTIM2 pulse width is too big. It needs to be 100, I forget the measurement, I think it's nanoseconds. It needs to be around 100 nanoseconds, and that one is 250 nanoseconds. And it's not going to stimulate the portion of the nervous system to get the, the neurotransmitters that we want. It's not going to stimulate the nervous system to get endorphins like 100 nanoseconds if, or microseconds. I don't even know the measurement. Is it micro? So. 100 microseconds will get at all the neurotransmitters that I'm going to teach you. 250 won't get anything, except you'll be able to uninhibit muscles and reconnect nerve transmission. But that's all you can do with the eSTEM2, and you're going to be disappointed. So don't use eSTEM2 for my protocols. So. AC, I wanted you to think of spiraling, spiraling, and then spiraling. So imagine how you can unblock an acupuncture channel by spiraling energy 150 times per second in both directions. I hope you enjoyed that video. Please use the information to help more of your patients. And if you like these short videos, feel free to tell a colleague about them and click the subscribe button to be notified of more content when it comes out. 
And if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below or email me directly, Dr. Jeremy at electro-acupunturemedicine.com. I'll see you soon.